What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. It is 4.42. My goal is to get out of here at 5 and go home and do nothing. The kids are testing today with my outfit. I really struggled a little bit because I got this top. I think I found somebody on um Instagram. I got caught out there. And I was like, well, that top is cute. My second time getting caught out there. And then one time I ordered some, I never got my stuff, but I couldn't find the receipt. I don't forgot the company, everything. So I took a picture of my receipt this time. I ordered another crazy top. And so I really struggled today with the outfit. I really, really did. And I was like, uh, I'm, I'm giving like Disney vibes and that wasn't the goal at all. So, kind of looking Disney today. Yeah, I'm kind of looking like Minnie Mouse. And I, that wasn't my goal, but I was like, whatever. I'ma just go for it. It is what it is. And I was almost late, cause I was thinking about chat. Anyway, you can leave all your jokes and stuff to yourself, cause I don't wanna hear it. All right, here goes nothing. And I like this top, I like the puffy sleeves. And I didn't want to wear the top by itself, so I wanted something to cover up over here. So I was thinking of what could I wear with this top that will cover the top part. And then it was looking really Mickey, okay. And y'all know I wear the petticoats or the tutus underneath. So I was gonna put a tutu under here. I did have it under there. But I decided to take the tutu off. And I was like, Joy, you are looking like a snicker ball. You know, from here down, I'm like a snicker ball. You know, snicker is just like a box, like a rectangle. I'm just, cause you know, I got the COVID, you know, 15. And I haven't been working out, y'all saw, for those who follow me, y'all saw that treadmill, right? No garage. <laughs> I still need to put it together. Got a few screws on it. So anyway, so I'm looking like a snicker ball. No curves, it's just like a tree trunk. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. So I put the red belt on, I was like, Joy, you need something to flare out, right? You need, you gotta have something back there to flare you out a little. Cause <laughs> I'm just looking like, <sighs> like a lamp post. So, like a thick lamp post. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> okay. Bam. Bam. But at least when I have the tutu, the petticoat, you know, it gives me a little something, something. Oh, baby. It's just snicker ball. Snicker. Snicker ball. Snicker. So I was like, okay, maybe if I put this belt, so this is another belt, if I put this on, it'll give me the illusion of a little boop, you know, a boop, just give me boop. Needless to say, I wasn't very successful, but I, I was running out of time, then I thought about throwing a tutu back on underneath this to give me my instant BBL, right? I didn't say, don't tell nobody I said that, give me that BBL look, you know, you know, fake it and a snicker with two C's. <laughs> and I didn't have time, and it was really looking costumish with the two twos, so I wasn't sure if I'd wear the red one, the black one, the white one. So I just said, I'm gonna go without the tutu today. So it's Western day tomorrow. I, the, I know I'm kind of looking like Minnie Mouse, a little something, something. That's okay. And I put this little headband up there. I swear, y'all, I don't know how to do no edges. I gotta learn how to do edges. <laughs> and so I put the little headband. Maybe I shouldn't have put the headband and tied this in a bow. Cause it's looking like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should just had a sticker. So anyway, I do like this top. I like the sleeves on the top. I really hope my other stuff comes because the stuff I ordered is cute. It was a top with, with big ruffle sleeves and stuff. So anyway, listen, listen, listen. 
So, I was coming in here. Well, when I came in this morning, a whole bunch of girls came in here. I was like, yes. But they're so sweet. They was like, Miss Basil, let me give you the tea, Miss Basil. We got tea. So then I had to listen to their tea. So I, I stopped when I was doing, focus on them. And I knew my day wouldn't be as stressful because the kids were testing. And then we talked about it. And I'm like, all right, girl, see you later. And then another little girl, she came in to give me her essay that she wrote. And she's my little baby girl. And she looked sad. I was like, what's the matter? Nothing. Yes, it is. You have a fight with your mom? No. Your dad, your brother? No. Somebody at school, drama at school? No. So you just having a bad day? You know, sometimes we have a bad day. Yeah. Well, what's the matter? You just don't want to talk about it? No. Then the little tears start coming down. I was like, what's the matter? Well, well, I, I, I tried out for some things and what I wanted to really get involved in, I didn't get it. But then I got, I got involved. I was accepted for that sport. And I was like, oh, listen, listen, let me tell you, honey, let me tell you. I said, you may not want to hear this. This would be a life lesson. What's meant for you can never be taken away. You wanted to do this, but that didn't work out. It didn't work out because it wasn't meant for you to do right now. It was meant for you to do what you were assigned to. You tried out for this and you were really good at it. You tried out for this, it just wasn't your time. Because when there are things that we want on our time, that means it's just not the time right now. I said, well, maybe it was to protect you from something. That's why you were approved for the other sport. Maybe um, you would have got hurt. And I said, maybe that was God's way of protecting you. We can't question that. It wasn't your time, because if it was your time, that door would have opened for you, honey. But another door opened for you. You don't know what your blessing is uh, going through that other door, honey. So you step through that other door with your head held high, because when one door closes and what you wanted, that closed, it wasn't meant for you. So you hold your head up high and you go through the other door because that's your path right now. And you need to make the best of it because you can't change what's not meant for you. Because if it was meant for you, you would have been approved for the other sport. And I was like, right? And then I had some little pop rocks left over from Connie Chow. <laughs> and I say, here, yeah, honey, I said, take these pop rocks and pop on out of here because you're gonna be okay. <laughs> and she's like, thank you, Miss Basil. You always make everything better. <laughs> I was like, right, it's the way you choose to think about things in life. You know, it's not always about what happens to you. It's about how you react to the things that happen to you. And that's what life is about. Because, baby, I've been through some stuff. There's some stuff I never want to go back to, but I've had the experience. What? Why you got that light on? Look, I got some kids in here. I see y'all later. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. You know I can't put you in a video. She so gonna bleep your face out. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you. Make sure you hit the likes. Comment, all those. Survive. Subscribe. Subscribe. How you gonna mess up the outro? Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, and follow me on Instagram. And that's it on Basil's World. Mm hmm. And that's on who? That's Mary. On, no. And that's on Miss Basil. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs>